If you would, let me focus my remarks on the greatest long-term strategic threat to security in the 21st century, China. 美国印太司令部最高作战指挥官戴维森九号在联邦参议院军事委员会的听证会上表示，印度太平洋地区是对美国未来最有影响力的区域。中国共产党长期以来是美国在该地区面临的最大威胁。I worry that they're accelerating their ambitions、um, to be to supplant the United States、um, and our leadership role in the rules-based international order, which. They've long said that they want to do that by 2050. I'm worried about them moving that target closer. Taiwan is clearly、um, one of their ambitions before then, and I think the threat is manifest during this decade. In fact, in the next six years. 多位美国参议员在会上质询台湾的安全问题。参议员史考特向戴维森问道：“是否同意美国必须阻止中国共产党掌控台湾？” We've got to prevent Communist China from、uh, controlling Taiwan. It's a strategic necessity for the United States. You you agree with that, right? As a combatant commander out there in the Indo-Pacific, I have an obligation to you know support the Taiwan Relations Act, and and in, in a geostrategic sense, I think it's critically important to the United States global status. Yes. 对于中共不断扩张的军事力量，美军印太司令部正在寻求在二零二二年到二零二七年五年间增加约两百七十亿美元的军事预算，但二零二二年财政年度的预算就达四十六亿美元。该提案包括添购新武器以及加强该地区盟友的军事合作。Our deterrence posture in the Indo-Pacific must demonstrate the capability, the capacity, and the will to convince Beijing unequivocally. The costs of achieving their objectives by the use of military force are simply too high. Indeed, we must be doing everything possible to deter conflict. Our number one job is to keep the peace, but we absolutely must be prepared to fight and win should competition turn to conflict. 二零一八年五月，川普执政时期，美国海军上将戴维森出任印度太平洋司令，曾担任美国授台的派里级泰勒号巡防舰长。戴维森指出，中共正在加快步伐，实现取代美国在国际社会上领导地位的野心。这使在印太地区与盟国的合作特别重要，例如与日本、澳洲及印度组成的四方安全对话。新唐人亚太电视张瑞珍整理报道。